Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to do a quick recap of our understanding of propagation delay and define that further in terms of assumption that my input is an ideal step waveform or an ideal pulse and we'll go ahead and extend our understanding to rise and fall time as well. So in the previous clip we have already seen the propagation delay TPHL and TPLH. Now let's recap that real quick. Here on the screen we can see that I have marked my TPHL and my TPLH and in the previous clip we had defined this as the propagation delay high to low is the time delay between the V50% transition of the rising input. High to low means output is falling so it is defined as nothing but V50% of the rising input and the V50% transition of the falling output voltage. So difference in time between this two is nothing but my propagation delay high to low. Similarly, we also saw that the propagation delay low to high is defined as the time delay between the V50% transition of the falling input voltage. So transition of the falling input voltage and the V50% transition of the rising output voltage. So the difference between this two is nothing but my propagation delay low to high. Now why one of them is higher and why one of them is having a smaller width. Here you can see this is small, this is big. This will see in further clips because this is because of the presence of NMOS and PMOS and we know that one of them is slower and we need to get into some calculations in order to predict this. For the time being these are the definitions. Now I'll assume that because I need to do the derivation of my delay time. So I'll assume that my input voltage is assumed to be an idle step pulse with zero rise and fall time. When I say idle step pulse with zero rise and fall time, this is nothing but it. So yeah, I'm going to assume that my input is this and not the one with rise and fall time. Rise and fall time inputs are nothing but such a type of inputs. And I'm going to assume my input to be a perfect square or a pulse, square wave form, correct? And here I'm not calling my logic zero as zero, I'm calling my logic low as VOL and logic high as VOH. Same is the case with my output as well. This is my input and this is my output. Now my definition will just be altered a bit. Now because it's a square right there is no 50% here. So we what we understand is, is nothing but a time taken when my input has rised to 50% where my input has gone down. So now the definition is this point correct. If you project this point this point is nothing but the same point because till this point of time your input was still considered to be low and your output was high and now suddenly your input rised to a higher value so your output started changing. So now TPHL is nothing but the time delay or the time required for the output voltage to fall from VOH to V50% level correct and similarly we can define TPLH also this was the point when your output was still assumed to be logic high sorry your input was still assumed to be logic high so your output was zero suddenly your input went to zero so your output started rising towards one and hence we can define TPLH is nothing but the time taken for the output voltage to rise from VOL to V50% level very simple and straightforward so let's say that my on the scale this is nothing but time zero T0 this is nothing but T1, this is nothing but T2 and this is nothing but T3. Then with the current definitions I can easily say that my propagation delay high to low is going to be equal to T1 minus T0, the difference in T1 and T0, we just saw that by the definition and three propagation delay low to high is equal to T3 minus T2. Again we saw the same, this is T3 and this is the T2 point, correct? So we have defined the propagation delay high to low and the propagation delay low to high. My average propagation delay or the average time required for my input signal to propagate through the inverter is nothing but TPHL plus TPLH divided by 2 because it's an average time. Now we also would define one more important point which will help us in the calculation. By definition V50% level is defined as VOL plus VOH by 2. Now there's nothing to explain. This is quite a 
self explanatory understanding that you want your V50% to be between your VOL and VOH. Assume that your VOL is 0 and your VOH is VDD, then you want your V50% to be VDD by 2. That's exactly what I have written here. So with that, we understood the new definitions or the improved definitions of propagation delay, assuming that the input was a square or a unit step in pulse, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, or a unit step input was present. And with that, we saw the new definitions. Now let's go ahead and see the definitions for rise time and fall time. 